paella it might just be the most famous and mm -hmm. beloved of all Spanish dishes, and the best part, it's relatively easy to make. And thus far, it smells pretty darn good, too. And <laughs> we're going to make it with Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of My Great Grapes Catering. So paella, it's like the, uh, what were we were talking about earlier, it's like the everything but the kitchen sink dish. Kind Absolutely, of. your dirty rice from your, from your country. Yeah. No, but, but the beautiful thing is that there's such beautiful, you can put whatever you like in it, but luckily my friends at Brunel's gave me some lobster Ooh. and some beautiful um, steamers and some mussels. So I want to finish those, I'll finish those off and put those on at the end. But the key to it is is that the rice, the rice is like, has to be a really, really yummy, it has to have saffron in it, Ooh. has to have definitely onions, Garlics, pepper, and then we have chorizo. So it's so. a rice based dish. It's, it's kind of like jambalaya esque. It is, it is, but what's nice about it is that you could actually do it in one pan if you wanted to. If you had a paella pan and you and you went that way, but it, at home for us, what we want to do is you make the rice. You put. Um, I started it because it takes about okay. half an hour to make. Um, I started it, and as you can see, I use I use seafood and chicken broth. So look, and I put a bay leaf in. And so now what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to put a little bit of. Um, of, of saffron? saffron in the rice so that we don't lose it. Okay, so yeah. that saffron is very delicate and it's uh it's the it's, it's the, the very... it's the pastille of the of the of the lily plant. So it's it's really imagine drying your lilies, your your fabulous lilies and then pulling off the the fronds. Remember when your your dying plants are falling apart? I don't know if yeah, you ever have that apart. in your house. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Once or twice that's happened to me. <laughs> and then trying to catch the um the, the middle of it, you know. And so, so that's it's, why wow. it's so crazy expensive. It to is buy and it's just it's really not easy. Easy to do, you know. I mean, it's just it's just not easy to catch those babies. But it's worth so go it. Ahead. Question: Earlier, you said a paella pan. Is there yes. a, a specific pan just um, for making paella? Absolutely. It's it kind of looks like a rondo, but it's a it's thin and it it's round and it's big. And so that it, what you do is you're gonna we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it into the oven, finish all the um, the seafood and whatnot in it in the oven, and then take it out and serve it. So with a paella oh. pan, you can do the whole kit and caboodle all together. So uh -huh. if, if people really enjoy this, maybe just maybe they invest in a paella pan. Oh yeah. It'll change your life. <laughs> yeah. It'll change your life. So we have the rice going. We do. What about here? What we well, we're getting it. We, we do have this we going do. too. So We've got going. a little um, olive oil just to cover the pan. Okay. We're going to put our onions and our peppers in. You're standing so close to I was going to say, so might as well. Here we do go. Do help us. Yes. So onions Chopped and peppers so nicely. first. Well, you know. Oh, there's a, a stray pepper in I'm there. I'm not seeing, and I'm very surprised. What? Dijon mustard. I know it's or really tough. Cheese. It's really tough it's to put Dijon and goat cheese in my paella. But you, you know what? That. I really? will stuff a pepper for an appetizer for this before, and that would be the uh, the uh, the beginning. Perfect. You know, so we'd have an app. So yeah. So we're gonna get this going. This is a little bit hotter, I think. This one. Okay. So yeah, and then we're gonna add the chorizo. And do you mind just opening a beer for me? Yes. <laughs> Kidding. Wait, uh, chorizo. So that's basically just a, a seasoned sausage. It is well. It's um. It's, it's a Spanish. Spanish it's a Spanish sausage. Mm -hmm. Has a lot of paprika in it. Yep. A lot of flavor. You can get it uh, in different levels of heat, so that it's really kind of delightful. So here we go. We're getting good here. A little bit of salt and pepper, because you can't do anything without a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, I believe that. Is this beer for you? Uh, no, I thought you might need it. No, oh, I'm only kidding. Say, it's going to be no. It's, actually, it's not even noon yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Into the recipe, right? It does. It okay. does. It becomes my liquid. Now you could use um, other things. You could use. You know, white wine, if you like. Um, I personally like the the way that the flavor of the IPA works with the um, with the seafood. Yeah, this is a little floral too, and I think it adds something Delicious. nice. Delicious, and it cuts the the um, the shall we say the oils that are in. Um, what it does is it really makes a nice mixture. It cuts the oils of the uh, chorizo as well. So yeah, we've got kind of. So now this is all going to go and and cook down, and then when we come back later and add the seafood on top, we'll be baking it. So we keep our rice a little bit wet. So that does, so it doesn't dry, dry out, out too yeah. much. Yeah. So we're at a good stopping point for right now. Is that oh, right? Should we is, let you stick to it? Well, we're good. We're just going to put the. Um, of course, at, at the end, we're going to put a little bit of beer, okay. and then we're going to put a little bit more um, uh, garlic in too. Sounds so good to me. Tons well, then, of flavor. How about this? We'll check in with you Ooh, in a little bit. Good. Let you get to it. Oh, you bet. Oh, and then we'll eat it. God, okay. it smells so good in here. Oh, <laughs> Kathleen, thank you. Coming up. You <laughs> we are back with Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of Great Grapes Catering, mygreatgrapes.com. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. making, finishing, I should say, seafood paella. It's so exciting. Can I go get it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Please do. So for those of you who missed it earlier, it's it's the it's a dish that's Spanish in origin. It's like an everything but the kitchen sink kind of oh. dish. Is that right? It's beautiful. 
I don't even oh, like seafood, but look M at that. G okay, now we're going to do the topper. This is the extra thanks to Brunel's Dockside. Yeah. They gave me such beautiful lobster. So what I did is I'm going to put it right in the center, in case you don't like lobster. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put it right in the center, and then I made a really lovely, um, like, spicy butter. How'd you make the butter? I put um, Cajun spices and basically cayenne, garlic powder. But infused into the butter. Infused into the butter, and then I'm just going to drizzle the whole beautiful, beautiful thing. Because it's been in the oven so that the rice could dry, and then all the... I put mussels, steamers, chicken, and of course, you know there's chorizo, so I'm just gonna drizzle this yummy butter all over it. Oh, And wow. then we get to yeah. eat it. Now here's the question, what, what is, is the best thing to drink with something like this? Um, traditionally, you would have sangria. Um, oh, and sangria, no, I, with this dish, you could go with a white sangria or with a red sangria. Mm -hmm. I prefer a white sangria because I like peaches and Me too, I like the fruit the that goes in a white sangria. See, I was but thinking both are fabulous. real light beer or maybe a shandy because those are popular. Oh, with yeah, the with lemon the lemon. shandy with the lemon. You know, honestly, what would be the best thing with this? It would be a rosé from really? Provence, absolutely, because huh. if you think of the Marseille, all the, you know, the fish, um, the fishermen, and in the middle of the day, that's what they would drink, and they have beautiful rosés from Spain as well, so. Ooh. so for people who what missed it nice, earlier, let's dish. recap. We okay. sautéed some onions, we, we sautéed some peppers, and, peppers. Okay. Yep. and the chorizo. And the chorizo, and then we put, and then garlic, so your basic trio for Spain here is onions, peppers, garlic. Mm -hmm. okay, which is good. different than the French one, exactly. which was so, celery, you know, carrots, carrots. And onion. Onion. That's what so it that's is. The, you know, your mirepoix. Your mirepoix. Mirepoix. Yep, absolutely. That's the word. But the key to this rice is what is wonderful is you put either a, a, a bit of a saffron in it and then make sure that you put um, either a chicken broth or a. Um, or you could use a seafood broth, which would be really nice if you cracked mm. your own shells and cooked it down and made that seafood broth. But honestly, it's just a bucket of flavor. It is just so delicious. And did you put the bay leaf in with the rice? I did. I put it in with the rice, and then I finished the rice with the saffron. So and then it's when a did delicate the, flavor. the IPA, the beer come Oh, that, I sauteed the onions and garlic and chorizo in the IPA, and then the other half of it, no, I didn't drink it, okay. was I steamed the mussels <laughs> quickly to get them to open up, and then finish the mussels and the clams, and then finish them in the other. I have a saffron wow. related question. So okay. saffron is what you sprinkled into the rice, yep. but it's so expensive. So I think a lot of people out there, they, they're stubborn. They won't get it, I, myself included. Is there any is there any substitute? Is no. there any way that you can get around it? Or is saffron it is the only way? It is such a distinct flavor. So you need to go I with saffron. I think that you have to go with that. But you know what? There is There are colors of it in paprika. So paprika has that Kind of, has that same kind saffron of edge, edge. Okay. edge to it. So if you're if you're just no way, I'm not doing saffron. Go put a little more paprika. In. Okay. So why don't we doll up some plates? Oh, and in the yeah. meantime, we Dollop. have a fun story for you. There's 